wish to acknowledge that Canada is on Turtle Island, which is a vast territory of traditional landscapes of many Indigenous peoples who over time have occupied and made this land their home from time immemorial. The original peoples who began their journey taking those early footsteps in our creation stories across this land, some came from the stars and others came from the sky and there were those who came from underground, but there's something important that they all share. And that is their stories of arrival to this land we call home on Turtle Island. Nindinawe Magani Duck, which means all my relations, which means we are all related. This program is brought to you by Ignite TV. Now you're in command. Visit rogers.com for more details. Finding Your Flow with Daryl Trimmer. I'm Daryl Trimmer. I've been practicing yoga for the last 12 years and teaching for five. We are currently on location at Healthletica in Bolton. Um, and today we are going to be focusing on spinal movements, right? And just moving the spine in all sorts of different directions, all right? So with that being said, we will get started in a kneeling position. So again, if you need, block can be between your feet. You can sit on your heels or two blocks between your feet. And I will opt for two blocks here. All right, we're going to take the hands just at the front of the thighs. And I want you to think about pushing the skin on the thighs towards your knees, rounding the spine. Just letting that spine pop out behind you, just tucking that tailbone under. Now, the skin and the knees, is gonna try, you're trying to pull it in towards the hip. Press the chest forward, lifting the chin up a little bit here, and then continuing in the other direction. Again, pushing the skin towards the knees, rounding the spine. And again, pulling the skin back towards the hip, pressing the chest forward. And then generally in yoga, when we're rounding the spine, we find an exhale. And if that works for you, you can exhale as you round. And then generally we inhale as we extend. And again, just giving you some options for your breath if you choose to take it. All right, just another round here. And bringing everything back into neutral. Okay, we'll keep the hands on to the legs, and this time we'll start to make some circles going around. So as we press your chest forward, we're gonna bring the ribs off to the right, press the spine back, bring the ribs off to the left, and then start to push the chest forward again. So now we're gonna make some waves, just going in one direction. And you can continue to use the pushing of the hands forward, pressing of the hands back as we flex and extend the spine. And we'll change direction, go the other way. And don't worry if it's not moving at all. Don't worry how it looks. Again, it's just about getting that feeling and sensation in the body, in the spine, and maybe a little bit in those hips and shoulders as well. And we'll go for one more round. And next time that we come back into the center, then we'll take the blocks if we're sitting on top of them. We can place them off to the side. And we'll come onto all fours. And back into a tabletop. And creating a nice little box shape with the body here. 
And we're going to take that right arm out to the side like a broken airplane wing. You're going to reach that right arm over to the left. So you're going to weave it underneath the left shoulder, drop that right shoulder down towards the floor, and then we're going to lift it back up and reach the right arm back out to the side. Again, take that right arm, weave it over to the left, drop the right shoulder gently to the floor, and then reach it back out to the side. Now just a few more times. And last one here. So next time the right arm's weaving to the left, gently bring the shoulder down. We're going to hold it there just for a moment. Again, just thinking about knees over the hips, and if they're a little bit off, not a big deal. Left hand stays glued to the floor. You're going to press it down. Think pushing the earth away. And then think about sneaking that right arm a little bit further to the left. Just trying to find a little bit of a twist coming through the center of the spine. And as you continue to push the left hand into the floor, press yourself back up into that tabletop. And resetting the hands here. And then taking the left arm out to the side like that broken airplane wing. And weave it over to the right. Bend the right elbow, bring the left shoulder to touch the floor, press the floor away with the right hand, and again, reach that left arm back out. Same thing, weave the left arm over to the right, gently bring the left shoulder down, again, pressing the floor away, bring it back out to the side. And again, two more, weave the arm over to the right, reach it back out to the left, and on this last one, when you weave it over to the right, again, we're going to take a pause, lower the right shoulder down. Right hand continues to press into the floor. Now think of reaching the left arm a little bit further over, finding some space and a twist into the spine. And again, think more towards that center or middle of your back. And as we come back into that tabletop, we'll bring the hands on to the waist, sitting up or standing up or kneeling up nice and tall here. As those hands come onto the waist, you're gonna hug into your beach ball with the elbows, think squeezing them tight. Just lift the breastbone up. This is with that breastbone, trying to lift up towards the ceiling, pushing everything a little bit forward. And bringing everything back into neutral. And then from here, taking the chin in towards the chest, we're going to round ourselves forward. You can even let those hands dangle down the front of the legs like you're trying to pull your pants off. And squeezing that spine back together. And when those hands come back up, bring them all into the waist. Hug your beach ball with the elbows. Lift the breastbone up. And we're finding a little bit of an arch or extension in your spine here. And again, coming back, chin comes in, we can round ourselves forward here, and pulling in that belly, and nice and steady, taking those hands back up to the hips, bend the elbows, good, lift the breastbone up, and as you go for this last rounding, chin in, round the spine. Good, come back with those hands onto the waist. And take a little bit of a pause here. Just collect yourself, maybe even letting those arms relax down. And just noticing all that sensation that's moving through the spine. And so we'll gently open the eyes. And tuck your toes. We're going to sit the hips back onto the heels. Use your hands if you need. We're actually going to bring those heels to the floor. Hips in line with the knees, if you can get them down that low. And we'll come into a chair, reaching the arms forward. 
Okay, think nice strong legs here, driving the heels into the floor. And then we'll fold forward, take the stomach in between the legs, and still think about creating a little bit of contact between both spots. As always, if you need to bend your knees, keep those knees bent. Okay, we'll come back into your little squat here, bend the knees, and then reach those arms forward, creating a length in the spine. Again, fold it forward. Stomach to the inside of the legs. Maybe those legs get a little bit straight. Maybe you can just think less bent in the knees. And as we come into that last one, again, get the hips down a little bit further. Reach the arms forward. Uh, just a breath or two here. All right, pushing the floor away, stand up. And again, bring those hands back onto the hips. And we're going to slowly shift the weight into your left foot. And as that weight shifts over, just come onto your right tippy toes. Lift the right knee up. Okay, we're going to hold on to the shin here. Pull the knee in a little bit. Good. You can slide that left hand to the outside of the right leg. Take the right arm back behind you to find a little bit more of a balancing twist. And of course, if you're having a hard time finding some balance, you can always hold a little bit onto the wall, grab a chair, and find something that can give you some support. And come back into the center. Again, hold onto the leg. And then slowly lowering that right foot back down. And again, distributing that weight evenly. And place the weight into your right foot. Lift the left heel up. And then bring that left knee up as well. Again, you're going to hold on to the shin. And grow nice and tall here. And right hand slides to the outside of the left leg. Reach the left arm back behind you. Again, if you still need that support, hold on to something that allows you to find stability. Again, just another breath. Come back into the center. Re-grab your shin. Grow tall here. And then slowly lowering that left foot back down. We're going to do a little bit of a step forward with your right foot. Step the right foot to the top of the mat. Turn the feet parallel. So you have those outer edge of the feet in line with the short edge of the mat. Find your length here. And as you hinge forward, if you need to bend your knees, bend your knees. Blocks can also be a friend as well. You can take those blocks underneath the hands if you need to create spine or length in your spine that way or length through the back of the legs. Press down, pull forward. Okay, now again, I want you to create or keep that length in your spine. So if you notice there's a turtle appearing on your back, just kind of brush it off, find your length forward. Right, take the left hand underneath your nose. Take the right hand onto your hip. Push the left hand down. Press the shoulder down towards that wrist. Start to open up the right shoulder to the right. Again, if that right hip starts to lift up, not a big deal. You just feel a little bit of a stretch on the inside of the left leg. And you can sweep the right arm into the sky. Continue to find that support, not just through the legs, but also through that left hand that happens to be on the floor or on your block. Take the right hand back down. Again, we'll reset that left. Bring the left hand under the shoulder. Push down through the hands. Pull yourself forward. Then take the right hand underneath your nose. Push it down. Feel that right shoulder pressing towards the wrist. Take the left hand onto the hip. Open up the shoulder first. Find that twist. Again, maybe a little bit of a stretch is coming to the inside of the right leg. Once it stops, everything stops. You can reach that left arm up towards the ceiling. 
Again, creating that support through the right hand and through the legs. Again, taking the left hand down onto the block, reset that right hand. Again, right hand comes under the shoulder. Push down, pull forward. Now bring the hands onto the waist, and then nice and steady, standing up. And keeping that nice wide stance here, lift your, the sole of the right foot up. You're going to pivot till those right toes are facing the front of the mat. Good. Think squeezing that right leg, spinning the outer right hip back. Knee's going to go down through the center of your right foot, bend the right knee. And finding that open space here. So if you notice that knee starting to buckle in, just squeeze the hip, press the knee out towards the center of the foot. Reach the arms out to the side. Get those arms parallel with the floor. And we're going to reach the right arm as far forward as we can here. Flip your right palm. Keep digging that right knee forward. Reach the right arm up and overhead. And find that space right through the right side of the ribs. Breathe into those areas that have the tension. And back into your warrior two, taking the arms parallel with the floor. Straighten the right leg. Hands back to the waist. Lift the sole of the right foot up. Pivot. Those toes are facing back in front. Again, outer edge of the feet in line with the short edge of the mat. As we change to this left leg, lift the left sole of the foot up, pivot on the heel so the toes are facing the short edge of the mat. And again, squeeze through that outer hip, bend the knee as that knee starts to go slowly go down through the center of your left foot. And bring the arms out to the sides. Again, arms coming parallel with the floor. I'm just using this little transition. Reach that left arm far forward. Flip the left palm. Send the left arm up and overhead. Right arm on the right leg. If you notice that that left knee starts to unbend, send the knee past that foot. Or at least trying to think of that intention of the knee bending a little bit further. Back into your warrior two. Again, arms come parallel with the floor. And straightening that left leg, turn the feet parallel one more time. Hands back on the waist. And we're going to change back to the right leg and lift the sole of the right foot up, pivot on the heel so that toes are pointing back towards the top of the mat. And reach the arms out. Okay, we'll find a little triangle pose here. So as you reach the right arm forward, just like we did before, so to kick that left hip back, like there's a little string attached to it, we're going to take the right hand down onto the shin, and then just take the left arm up towards the ceiling. And again, that right hip's continuing to try to screw back behind you. And think even is through the side, so that we're not just dropping into one side. And of course, you don't have to look up. You can look wherever is comfortable for the neck, forward or down. But just imagine that it head's resting on a pillow. Then coming back up, arms out to the sides, hands onto the waist, lift the sole of the right foot, pivot, and we'll change. So again, lift the sole of the left foot up, pivot on the heel, toes pointing to the back, short edge of the mat. And think screwing that left leg into the floor. Arms reach back out to the side. And let little strings attach to the hip. Pull it back. Reach the left arm as far forward as you can. And taking that left hand down onto the shin, reach the right arm up. And again, whatever was comfortable with the head last time, you can look forward, up, down, doesn't really matter. 
And think light into that shin so we're not just pushing the leg down towards the mat. Just another breath here as we come up. Bring the arms out to the sides. Lift the sole left foot, pivot on the heel, coming back to the center, hands to the waist, and we'll just get those toes and heels to come to the middle. Sit the hips down, good, and then we're gonna turn to face the top of the mat. And we'll lie down on the stomach. Now we'll take the hands next to the body. You can bring those hands next to the hips, arms are straight, fingertips are pushing back behind you. Good. We'll use the hands a little bit here. We're going to keep the legs glued to the floor. They met tops of the feet pushing down, so the kneecaps are lifting off of your mat. As those hands behind you start to push down into the floor, you have a little bit of an arch to your spine. Right, and then slowly lowering it back down. Good. Same thing, we're gonna repeat that a couple more times. Again, push everything down into the floor, lift the chest, and slowly back down to the mat. Again, taking that inhale, if it feels good, to arch, and slowly back down. And again, lift. Lowering it back down. That last one here, we're going to give it a little bit of a pause at the top. Find your arch. Hold here if you want. Legs can lift as well. You want to go a little further, maybe those arms lift up too. Just another breath. Lower everything back down. Take a little bit of a rest here. You can take the hands together. Forehead rest to the top of one of those hands. And just find yourself feeling what's going on through the spine. And as we start to come out, bring the hands next to you. Press into a child's pose. We'll take the big toes together. And those knees are going to be parallel. So think as though the railroad tracks here. Take the head to the floor, arms reaching back behind you. And so we're trying to find that rounding through the spine. Breathe into the back. Let the breath expand through the ribs. Let the breath expand through the spine. Good option to stay here. If you want a little bit more of a stretch through the spine, you can hold on to your heels. Lift the hips off the heels. And think maybe the crown of the head onto the floor. And if this is too much, again, just stay in that first position that you were in. And just being mindful of exactly what the body's telling you. We're lowering the hips back down. And we'll come out of that and lie back down onto the floor. And then we'll take the arms or those hands underneath the forehead. Lift the right foot. So we're going to bend the knee, lift the knee off of the floor, and then you're going to take that right foot over to the left. Good. Bring the leg back down. Again, same thing. You're going to lift the right knee, bring the right foot over to the left. Think elbows glued down to the floor, and again, sending it back. And two more times. Again, lift, rotate, coming back. Last one here with that right foot lifts. 
rotate over to the left. It will hold it there. And as you take your pause, focus on the sensations that are going through the spine, the hip, and through the leg. I'm going to bring the right leg back down. Good. Just take a moment in between sides. And same thing, other side. Bend the left knee. Lift the left foot towards the ceiling. Take the left foot over to the right. I'd bring that front of the hip back down to the mat. Again, lift the left foot, rotate over to the right. And bring it back down. And two more from here, lift the knee up, rotate to the right. Bringing the hips flat onto the floor. And again, last one, we'll take that hold, lift, rotate to the right. Pause there. Again, just being mindful of the sensations that are going on through the spine and through the hips. I'm going to bring it back down. Again, take that little pause. onto your back so you can flip over like a pancake. Okay, we'll take one leg in at a time. Bend the left knee, hug the knee in towards the body, or if you have a little pinching on the front of the hip, you can always take the knee out to the shoulder. And just letting yourself get settled here. And then we'll change right leg straight. And we'll take that left knee in. Again, a little pinch in the front of the hip. Just take the knee a little bit off towards your shoulder. Doesn't necessarily have to be into the body. Take the right leg in. Give yourself a little bit of a squeeze here. And just another breath or two. Slowly, as you release the legs, you can just let yourself lie down. Legs are straight, arms a little bit off to the side, and just relaxing into the floor. And as always, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you next time. response.